Hey, welcome back. So if you read my blog yesterday, then you might have seen this post about how I made my resume uh, from Markdown, completely from Markdown by applying CSS styles. So I thought about making a video on the same. So you can read the same article, uh, same steps uh, or on my blog. Uh, I will provide the link for the blog in the description. So basically what we're doing is uh, we have our plain simple markdown file uh, which is uh, your resume or whatever and then you can convert it to uh, html uh, and then to pdf essentially you're converting it to pdf by applying the css styles so this is the end result of, uh, of my uh, resume looks like uh, which was written in um, markdown so if i were to show my um the i don't know where did i put it but uh it's going to be in the resume and then resume dot markdown okay so this is my resume in markdown so this can be converted up to this which means you are applying the css styles and then uh you know converting it to markdown Okay, so I will show you how you can do this, but this is essentially my uh, complete resume and the end result looks like this. So if you're interested, let's see how it can do this. Okay, so um, the tool that we're using is uh, MD Markdown to HTML, which can be found in, in my GitHub repository, which is Markdown to HTML Converter. I'll provide the call for a uh, link in the description. So basically what this is doing is converting our markdown to html by applying the css styles which is this style.css and then uh, this uh, html is converted back to pdf i mean to pdf by using uh, chrome or uh, firefox spring to pdf feature so this is a fork of this project or called a resume dot markdown uh, which you can find there but uh, the, the entire source code um, for this, uh, for my fork, is just this. Only like uh, 50 lines of code. And the rest of the things are just imports and all that stuff. Uh, so basically this provides a bare minimum functionality which converts the markdown to uh, HTML. Uh, so let's just say I have a markdown file. Uh, let's go back to the directory. Uh, where my actual resume resides. So as you can see, uh, let's remove this resume dot uh, HTML from here. And then, if you run the script, uh, which will then say that you have to provide a file, and the file must be the markdown. So if I provide the markdown file, which I just showed then resume dot markdown it will create an html file by applying the css styles in this style.css you have to exactly name it as style.css or you can change the name from uh, the script so you can specify it it is the same as how you would write basic css and then uh, the in the uh, I don't need to call yeah in the markdown uh, resume you can you know give or add any basic html things like i don't know anything in html can be rendered uh, to a pdf file because you are essentially converting this to html and then to video so when you convert this to html you would expect everything you have uh, done in html and then css styles are also applied so basically you can you know be creative and make uh, you know this is a bare minimum uh, function uh, design i don't like to keep it uh, i don't like to be a as colorful so uh, i've made it this as a minimal you know in a mini very minimal way so you can add colors and uh, all the uh, borders and other other things but uh, by applying the the css styles or you can add here 
you know uh, the, the design level and the borders and everything it goes to the goes in the style.css so you can add that so the, i've changed my phone to mono space and uh, you, if you if you want you can change that as well and then i've added a few other tags like if i use italics then it goes into the bottom of the page as the page number mm. you know these are things i've just made for my own needs uh, so feel free to fork this repository and make the changes or you can contribute and we can make this um, repository useful for everyone anyways i've made the html out of the the uh, markdown so let's open it with firefox or chrome uh, but my I, I prefer firefox over chrome print uh, pdf feature because firefox has an op uh, functionality which we can scale uh, the uh, pdf into uh, you know you can you can shrink it, it to fit it in one page so if i do control p which will you know basically print it you can scale it so if I unscale it, let's say fit to width, then it will go into two pages. But if you scale it, then you can make it into one page. Um, so this is the functionality which is not available in Chrome. And then there are many reasons why, you, you know, people tend to use Chrome uh, PDF feature. Uh, and that's completely okay. But I'm just showing how the uh, Firefox version is different. And you can uh, do more things by using the print using system dialog. So in this case, you are uh, printing to file, and then then the, the options you can you know add page. Uh, you know if you wish to have multiple pages, in, then you, it's, it's good to have the page number in the PDF. So in the bottom, uh, you can add page number or date or time of the last modification or the last update. You can do many things from here. So in the page setup. Um, so th that's one of the advantages of using uh, the system print to PDF feature. But I'm just showing you how the things are laid, uh, laid in this way. So um, the Chrome functionality is much more minimal. You can you can use it, but uh, you you cannot scale it uh, like I just showed in the Firefox version of uh, this. Anyways, um, I've mentioned a few other ways you can. Uh, use the Chrome's headless version, which we can, you know, uh, make the PDF. You know, can you can print, you can generate the PDF by using the Chrome with the headless, which means you can do the thing. You can generate the PDF from your script, which is not available in uh, in Firefox because Firefox doesn't have this headless version, at least for not for uh, print to PDF print to PDF feature. So we have to manually open up Firefox um, and then you know control P. I think it's it's less, less of a work because um, you know you can control P uh, and then don't don't try to like uh, open the Firefox and control or open the file manually. Just do Firefox and then the HTML file. So that, that opens up the HTML file so you can control P that. Anyways, so you can read in depth about how this uh, works in the blog post and then you can go to the repository that is a markdown to con uh, HTML converter in the uh, you can find the link for this in the description as well. Uh, so I think everything is clear. Uh, so this is bare minimum thing to, you know, to make your resume very neat. Uh, rather than uh, you know a bloated one so uh, try it uh, have some modifications uh, you know add your own modifications uh, this is the bare minimum thing okay um, so okay that's it thank you for watching this video and if you do have any comments suggestions on improving this uh, let me know in the comments yeah that's it thank you all for watching